What's up everybody? This one today is for the wannabe entrepreneurs. So anyone who's thinking about starting a business or has been playing with that idea, especially a service-based business as opposed to a product-based business where you're just selling an item. Now I did a, a webinar, full 90 minutes, where we covered this in much, much, much more detail. And I'll do a quick little pitch for that at the end of this. But I wanted to give you some free stuff so that if you uh, think about starting a business, you can get into it. Three quick tips. So first one is on how to choose a business idea. Put aside trying to make money. It's a terrible starting point for choosing a business idea. Instead, what you're looking to do is solve a problem. And in particular with a service-based business, you want to solve a problem by doing an activity you enjoy under a topic you're really passionate about. So a great example for this is, say, being a dance teacher. Now, a dance teacher loves dancing, the activity, they enjoy it. Uh, they love the topic of dancing. They love everything about dancing. They've studied it their whole lives. They're passionate about it. Every movie they watch is about dancing. Now, the problem they solve, this is where it gets interesting. Dancing, dance teaching isn't solving the problem of wanting to learn how to dance. Well, that's one of the problems it solves. But it also solves the problem of finding physical exercise that isn't boring, uh, meeting new people in an interesting way instead of Tinder, self-development, getting out of your comfort zone and growing. These are three other problems dancing also solves, which I learned myself personally. So when you figure out what that problem is that you solve or multiple problems that you solve with your favorite activity, you got yourself a business. And it's a business that can be sustained because you love the activity. You'll do it for free anyway. So that's how you choose an idea. Now step number two, getting started. You don't need websites, you don't need advertising, you don't need a business card, you don't need social media platforms, you don't need any of that stuff to get started. That's all just a confusing distraction or a comfort zone to get away from what you do need to get started, which is to find one person whose problem you can solve with your activity. That's it. That is in fact the entire business model. Find a person whose problem is solved by your activity and then go and offer that activity to them. That's how you get started. In fact, you can just start for free if you find the prospect of asking for money intimidating or overwhelming. Just do it for free first. That's what I did. I coached two people for free for six months just because I love having conversations where people build their confidence. I love the conversations. That's my activity I love in the topic of psychology, which I'm really passionate about. And I solve people's confidence problems, dating problems, social problems, lifestyle problems with these conversations. So I just go find someone who's got one of those problems and I offer them a conversation. That's what you do. Whatever your activity is, offer it to someone with a problem. Now once you've been doing that for a little, little while, your next issue is how do I turn this into a financial business? Crossing the one dollar mark's the hardest one. Once you actually can charge a single dollar for what you do, then all you need to do is up that number. It's the same process. With a service-based business, you don't need to sell. You don't need sales techniques and strategies and advertising and fancy design websites. That stuff's mostly a scam from people who are selling that stuff. What you need to do is be able to let someone experience that activity. If you're a dance teacher, let them have a dance with you. If, if you're a coach, give them a coaching session. If you're a plumber, fix something little in their house. Let them see that what you do has value. Let them decide whether or not it has value. And then if they want more of it, you charge them money. It's that simple. You don't need to sell anything. The activity will do the selling for you. Get really good at the activity and really good at using it to solve a problem and people will pay for that. All you'll need to do is ask for money. Now that was just a small taste of what's in the webinar. In the webinar we also cover much more detail how to translate your passions into profitable activities that solve problems. We go into the kind of process of that and give lots and lots of examples. Um, we figure out who you need to start with. You know, your first few clients aren't who you think they're going to be. Uh, we're going to talk about who those people are, how to find them, how to connect with them, how to get this process started from zero to one. How to go to someone who doesn't know you even have a business idea through to them being served by your activity. We talk about how to avoid all the major risks, how to get started without having to blow heaps of money, without having to commit to something that you can't follow through on, without having to get in trouble with your current work. We cover all those risks and how to manage them and avoid all the fears that come up for you. And one of the main fears that we cover in the webinar, of course, is how to get over that fear of rejection. How to get a business started without worrying that it's going to go badly or that people are going to judge you or that everyone's going to say no. And the final thing we cover in the webinar, 
how to make your first dollar and then build that up into a full-time income. So if you like the idea of that webinar, you want more, all you gotta do is become a Brojo member, a silver member, and that's only $19 US per month, and you can quit any time. So if you just want this webinar, you can sign up for one month, grab the webinar, grab whatever other goodies you want, and then bail. Or if you love being part of the Brojo community, of course you can stay and stay involved with all our other stuff. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you guys all for the next one.